Hi, I'm Jeff from Wyoming Gun Company. Today we're out here at Platte River Rod and Gun Club. It's a really nice facility. It's an outdoor range that has animal silhouettes, steel targets, gongs, pretty much anything you'd like to shoot from 200 to 1200 yards. Uh, it's a really nice day today. We're going to go ahead and prove a couple rifles that I've built. Here we have the lightweight precision hunting rifle that I've been building. Just to recap, we've got a Remington 700 long action stainless steel that's been fully accurized, uh, double sleeved and accurized bolt with the added M16 extractor and dual uh, ejectors on the bolt face. It's sitting in a Macmillan fully bedded stock. We've added the Thunder Beast Ultra 7 suppressor. And sitting on top of this is a Leopold VX6HD uh, 24 power scope. And then over here we have my own personal match rifle. Uh, this one is also based off of the Remington 700. It's a short action and it's chambered in a 6.5 by 47 Lapua. It's got a heavyweight uh, stainless steel Krieger barrel on it. And on top we've got a Steiner T5XI that's a 25 power scope. And it's sitting in a fully bedded Macmillan A5 adjustable stock. Uh, and I'm running a detachable bottom metal uh, by PTG. It's one of their stealth uh, detachable bottom metal magazine systems. So we're going to go out and basically we're going to prove both of these rifles on steel at distance, uh, see how they group, and see how well they shoot. All right, so we've got our shooter here in position. We've got the target painted up there. Uh, it's at 600 yards. It's an elk silhouette. We're going to take some shots on that and see how this thing groups. Uh, this is our precision hunting rifle, uh, the Remington 700 chambered in 6.5 precision rifle cartridge. All right, we're going to take some shots to see how she performs. Shooter ready. All right, I'm going to watch on my glass. Spot for him. All right, I'm watching. Send it when you're ready. I had my sunglasses on. I couldn't quite see that one. I know you hit, but... That was high. Did you see where I hit? Good spot. I do a couple clicks down, your, your camera's warm enough. Just above the dot, that's better. Same spot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you send another one right there, that would be great. Hold the same spot. Excellent. All right, so we've got a really nice three-shot group up there uh, at 600 yards. Uh, I think at this point we're going to run up there and uh, actually measure it, see see how tight it was, um, and then as long as the weather cooperates with us, I think we're going to push it out to a thousand after this. Checking out the groups out there at the 600-yard target. We're really happy with the group size. Um, really good shooting. Uh, the only thing is it was a little bit high, so we're going to make a minor adjustment on the scope. Um, we've got the barrel warming up and the can on the gun, so I think we're, our ballistics are a little bit off. So we're going to make a minor adjustment, send three or four more out there, and hopefully we'll get that in the, in the white and have a real good group again. There we go. You're just a couple inches high. I'm sure you can see that.
Good. A little low there. A little low. I, I pulled that one a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that was two or three inches low. Let me do one more. Okay. There you go. Nice. Right in the middle. Yeah. You're yeah. good with that. Good shooting. <clears throat> yeah, I pulled that one a little bit, I felt. Yep, that'll happen. It's still perfectly in the vitals, though. I mean, hunting situation, that would be perfect. Yeah. To be a dead elk. All right, so we just got done shooting a four-shot group. Um, shooter admitted one of the shots was pulled, uh, which happens, but it was still a good shot on target. Uh, we're gonna go up there again and measure the group size, see, uh, see what we got. And then after that, weather's holding out, so I think we're gonna push it out to 1,000 too and see, uh, see how we do out there. Uh, this is our four shot group here. Um, again, the three shots is a little, a little bit more than two and a half inches. And even that pulled shot down here that the shooter admitted he pulled was, let's see, about five inches. So. Even that, uh, we're, we're super happy with this. This rifle's shooting great. I uh, really can't ask for better than that at 600 yards. So just to clarify, one MOA at 600 yards would be six inches. So we're, we're well under six inches here at the uh, pulled shot, but at the three shot group that we're happy with, this group and the other group, about two and a half inches. So that's excellent. So we're up here at the infamous Buffalo at the uh, Platte River Rod and Gun Club. We're gonna take some shots on this target and uh, see how she does out this way. Uh, the weather's been really behaving for us, so I think we'll be good. Uh, just a matter of getting the scope dialed in for this distance and taking some good shots. So we'll see how we do. All right, so the Buffalo has been painted with fresh paint. We're back here at the shooting position. Gonna go ahead and take some shots. We've got our scope adjusted, and I'm actually going to be shooting this thing as well. I'm going to be spotting for him and shooting, and he's going to be spotting for me. So we're just going to shoot this thing and see how see how we do. Top right corner, in the white. So come down a click and uh, hold left a hair. Yeah, 
And Theo's just left of that same shot. So high and right still. Oh man, very nice. You see that one? Yeah, just to the left. Just to the left of the orange. But that's where you want to be, right there. Probably didn't even need that left click. Nice. Just, just high. Inch high of the dot. Nice. Nice. It was on the uh, left uh, uh, le the left hit, so that's a great three-shot group there, man. Should I shoot one more? Or? Yeah. One more. One more. Relax. Nice trigger pull. Breathe. Same spot. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was pretty much between the two. Holy shit. That's a good group for a thousand yards. All right, so here we are at the Buffalo at 1,000 yards from the shooting position. Um, so super happy with this group. Uh, I assumed we got a pretty good group, but now that I'm here uh, measuring this. So this shot down to this shot, measuring 10 inches. So at 1,000 yards, that's easily one MOA. And then if we measure this shot, we're at five and a half. This shot was about eight. So extremely happy with that. Really can't ask for better. And just a testament to the rifle itself, we, uh, we were shooting a Hornady Precision Hunter, 143 grain ELDX bullet out of this rifle today. Uh, to get a group like this at a thousand yards is, is excellent. So we know this rifle's shooting well, the scope's dialed in, we got some good dope for these conditions. Um, really, you know, not spending a lot of time getting a good load developed for this rifle. You really should be pretty happy with this. So um, again, excellent results here. So um, yeah, I don't know. There's not much else to say here. We kind of proved it, proved it in the pudding here. So. So anyway, this is Jeff again from Wyoming Gun Company. Uh, you interested in a rifle for yourself? You want me to go ahead and re-accurize what your, your existing rifle? We want to start from scratch, build a new one? It's totally up to you. Uh, feel free to give me a call out there, come see me, and uh, we'll get you started on your own rifle. <laughs>